Okay, so here we are at my disaster of a desk, as it usually is. Um, and, all right, so let's talk about surfaces. Um, I usually use, this is a meat or a veggie, not placemat, what am I thinking of? Cutting board. Um, these come in like packs of three to five. Um, they're just great for rolling your clay out on. Um, I've also used just placemats. Um, the plastic placemat. I tend to use the back just because if you try to use this surface, sometimes the um, if you're cutting out cold porcelain, you'll you'll actually pick up some of the printing and then it'll end up in your cold porcelain. We don't want that. Okay, so let me I have a handy dandy cheat sheet of all the things I want to talk about. Um, okay, so let's say you get your package of cold porcelain in the mail and let's say, oh, it's mine, but anyway. So my cold porcelain comes in with a little wrapper. It's nothing fancy, um, but I like the way it's packaged. It's just my personal preference. Comes with a little baggie. Open the baggie. Has little tips and tricks. It's just basically a shortened version of the video I'm doing today. Um, there's tape on each end. Choose an end, north or south doesn't matter. Take the tape off. Okay, and then you're going to untwist it like a Tootsie Roll. And you open up the end. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I don't want to do that. I want to save this one. But that's basically how you would open it up. I'll put that back in there. Let's say I got my clay out. Um, you know, you would wrap it back up. I just don't want to open this one up yet because this is a full eight ounce and I want to keep it as a full eight ounce. So, um, put your tips and tricks. You put it back in the bag. Um, and lately I've been adding, um, wet wipes to the bag. And what this does is just that any extra, you know, it, it just moistens any air that might be in the bag so that if there is any clay exposed, it will not be drying out. So it just helps to retain the moisture within the bag. And actually, tips and tricks should be outside because I don't want that ink to get wet and run. So that's up to you whether you want to put the label back on or not. Um, so that's how you would unwrap it and rewrap it and store it. Now, let's say you buy... Um, Let's say you buy an air dry clay like Hardy, and it comes in one of these packets. Um, I typically keep it, oops, spilling it out. I typically don't take the whole clay out of the bag, because I just work with little tiny bits of clay at a time. So I, I cut the end of it, so snip, 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 um, open it up. This one's already been opened. Open it up, you pull it out, um, and then you try to smooth out the end of it from the outside. And then I usually make a point. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I just like to, to narrow that down. And then I pull it over as tight as I possibly can, and then I use packing tape and seal that. In fact, this should probably have new packing tape on it because I want all that air pushed out of there. I don't want any air getting in there. And then, again, I'll put it back in a big plastic bag. Or with this, this one just happens to have a lot of in there. It could be a little plastic bag. Put it back inside the plastic bag. Make sure there's a wet wipe. Push all the air out that you can. I have that one in there, too. I just like to keep all of my hearty clay together. So that's Hardy Clay. Um, basically the same thing with other brands. They usually come in these flat packages. Somewhere I have, here it is. I have Modena, same thing. It's in a plastic bag. The end is pointed. It's wrapped with packing tape, wet wipe in the bag. So that's storing it. Um, if I have small pieces, like often 
I'll have my clay, right? And let's say I've added some paint to some of the clay and I just have a little tiny bit that I'm working with. I will keep all those colored pieces in an airtight container like this. So I've got a little bit of green and I've got a little bit of gray and blue and purple and every other color. So I don't want to just throw those out. I hate wasting clay. Um, so I will add a whole bunch into one container and I try to make sure there's not too much air space. So like if I only had like three little pieces, I would probably try to put it in a smaller container with an airtight lid. Um, it's not completely airtight. If you had a vacuum sealer, that would be great. Um, but I'll usually add a wet wipe to this too. I just don't have one right now. So that's how I store the little ones. Um, one other thing, don't put the cold porcelain in the refrigerator. There's really just no need to put it in the refrigerator. Um, it's not going to mold. The only reason it might mold is if you use a, if you made a homemade batch and use like a really old bottle of wood glue. That's, I've seen like really old wood glue um, mold or turn color or be weird, but um, my clay, I have never noticed any mold growing on my clay or any other commercial clay, so you've got nothing to worry about as far as like growing something funky on it. Now, like I said, I'll, I'm twisting this one shut and then I usually tape the end. And even with these small pieces that I had in here, I'll, I'll sometimes tape the end of it if I know I'm not going to be getting into it. The main idea is that you just want to push out all the air off of the clay. You don't want any air exposed to it and wrap it as tight as possible and then just add the extra wet wipe and the extra baggie just to keep the air out. Okay, I feel like I'm on a rant. All right, so let's talk about adding paint to clay. I get a question, what can I add to this?